and we back y'all know we talk about it all the time 2k kind of left us out to dry in this community though i know that we can still put together banger videos on 2k21 and we will still do that it is kind of sad knowing that a lot of the things that we want to see fixed in the game probably won't get fixed now until next game or if we being honest let's be honest a lot of that stuff won't even be fixed in the next game so it is kind of sad and one of the main things that makes it bad is that there is no direct pe competitor if i don't like my deodorant brand guess what i could go to the store and get a different one. but with 2k they have this exclusive rights to the idea of nba basketball so there's no competitors right there's still games out there that allow us to do the things that we like to do to some capacity have a basketball game for one build a team rebuild a team and try to win a championship that is the essence of the kot for q channel at this point right so i got a message from my boy isaiah and isaiah put me on to another game outside of 2k that allows you to rebuild nba teams the name of the game is draft day sports pro basketball 2021 it's, it's kind of a mouthful. They could probably shorten up, but it is what it is. There's an opportunity for us to go into a different game and try to do a rebuild. Now, this game cost me $35 on Steam. $35. And there are other alternatives that we will get to in the coming weeks that are completely free. But this one's $35. I bought it. I installed it. But I have not loaded it up. Last two weeks, zero minutes played. So, honestly, I don't even know what to really expect with this game. But we will have fun and we will try to see what it's about. Be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. This is a hub of, I can't even say 2K anymore because 2K is kind of trash. This is a hub of good content. And you don't want to miss out as we're on the road to 1 million. I'm excited for this one. Let's let's just get right into it. Wow. Um. Okay. I'm excited, but I don't know what's going to happen. There is a database editing updated multiplayer league oh my god i can play this with the homies okay let's create a new league challenge mode sandbox mode multiplayer universe oh i have no idea Let, let's see what we got challenge mode you'll be responsible for meeting the demands of ownership failing to do so could result in you being fired and having to apply with other teams select this mode if you want to play the most realistic experience possible sandbox you can change to any team that you want at the end of the season and there is no risk of being fired for not meeting goals or poor performance. Select this mode if you want to play the game without the pressures of owner responsibility. Create and control a player for each team you want to manage while using the commissioner to advance the league and control certain functions. Select this mode if you want a unique mode in which you can control as much of the game world as you want. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go challenge mode. Even though I probably should go sandbox because I'm completely new. I'm gonna go challenge mode. It seemed like the one that we would normally do on this channel. Oh, this is actually really cool. Um, you can put your own files in, you can have a fictional world, but I want to play with today's teams, today's players, historical data is in here. We start in 2020, 30 teams. Yes, sir. I can I can select a picture. This is I could be my own GM. I could I could be a female GM if I wanted to. I'm gonna go with this guy, number two. Okay, that's me. That's me. Select my clothing. Oh my god, I'm loving it. Where is the no- Oh my god, I don't need to have a suit and tie, y'all. I could just be that guy. I could just be- Look, that dude look like you. You don't want to mess with this dude. I want to be the youngest general manager in the history of basketball. So I am 24 years old. Password. Oh, that's a multiplayer leagues. Select my league. Um. Okay. Select my team. So obviously with 2K having the exclusive rights to team names, players and stuff, um, we won't get the Atlanta Hawks, but instead we got the Atlanta Eagles. We won't get the Boston Celtics, but we got the Boston Irish. So we gonna get like a knockoff brand of every single team. Brooklyn Hoops, Charlotte Waz, Chicago Bison, Cleveland Knights. This is actually really funny. This is funny. I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it so far. Instead of the Lakers, we just got the Waves. Instead of the Grizzlies, you got the Roar. Instead of the Heat, you got the Burn, baby. Instead of the Bucks, you got the Moose. And I think I do want to be the general manager and not just the coach. So far, in love with what I'm seeing. This is, this is nice. The higher you rate this option, the more you prefer a veteran team. So like, mind blown, y'all. This is me picking my own little things with me being the GM. Okay. I would I don't want a young team. I don't want a super old team either. So let me put that if we're gonna win a championship, let's be honest. If you're right here, you're probably not winning the championship. But right here, I think I think not not right here. Go back. Is it stuck? 
it's stuck, y'all. Okay, I think right here is a sweet spot. All right, we're here, yo. Oh my God. So far, 10 minutes in, I'm having a lot of fun. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm having a lot of fun without even seeing anything. My real question is what the overalls and stuff are gonna look like, or will they have knockoff names for Zach Levine? Instead, he's, I don't know. They just switched the first and last. He is Lag Zavine. I don't know. But this this is gonna bother me. This being at 1%, um, 30 seconds in, not the best sign. So I guess I'll be back. I don't really know. Okay, y'all, so we may have run into our very first problem of this. Um, it doesn't, it's not working. I can't do anything. And it's still at that 1% from seven minutes ago. So do I reset? And recreate my guy and come back? I, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do and hope that it works this time. Okay, so I reloaded the game and this is some new stuff that didn't pop up originally. We got my save name, so this is probably why it didn't work because I don't remember going through this stage. So I want global control. I'm gonna leave everything how it is. Cap space luxury, that ain't got nothing to do with me. League settings. Ratings on a scale from one to 10 or one to 100. I'm gonna go one to 100 just because that's what we're used to in 2K terms. You know, you got a 94 overall instead of a 9.5 overall. Begin league with fantasy draft. Ooh, that's interesting for a future video, but I think we like these rules. Western conference and Eastern conference. You can change your logo if you want to. Oh my God, they give you a bunch of logos you can pick from. That's a W. You could probably use your own if you wanted to. I'm going to leave everything the same. G League, D League, I'm going to leave the same. And let's go to... Now, now it should work. Now it should work. I'm going to go right back to creating myself. So we still do have every single player's real name. We got Arthur Diagonal, Window Carter, Felicio. But I guess if I click on them, they won't have a picture... You know, because this could be a whole different Archidiacon, Ryan Archidiacono that was 26 years old from Villanova and that was undrafted in his three years. But not the one that's in the NBA, obviously. Okay, where's Zach Levine? Let's look at some overalls, man. Where's my boy, Zach Levine? According to these guys, hello? Zach Levine is, oh, maybe there's not one actual rating for a player. Maybe that's for the better. Tells you his contract and stuff. His player traits. He's got the bucket getter badge. Oh my God, they got badges, y'all. Where, where's the badge guide? I need to see what every badge does. I'm going to keep it a buck. Again, not a sponsorship, no nothing. These people don't even know I exist. But this, 2K, please take note. Obviously, it's a lot different because I can't watch my Chicago Bison go play. But this is, this is about as immersive as it gets. Over on the right side... They got floor range percentage, so it tells you how he uses his buckets or how he gets his buckets. We got our ball action by percentage, and I guess in 2K's term, that will be the tendency place. This is great. This is this is really good. They got a scouting report, uh, player profile. Now, player profile tells you things like his loyalty, his motivation, his consistency, and for Kobe White, it's kind of low. He's a two-year player. Um, his play for winner, his durability, work ethic, personality, and playing time not to be concerned. It got his progression of his ratings throughout the season. His bio. I'm like, this is great. I am, this is fun. I want to rebuild my Chicago Bulls. But this doesn't take me as a thing that allow you to rebuild year number one. I feel like this is a thing where you're going to hit long-winded rebuild. You get emerged in the pro basketball league that we we created. We got an inbox. Who's e Who emailing me? Assign it to G League. It's kind of telling you the steps to play the game, which is going to come in handy. Nobody has called my phone at all. My phone is even dry in the virtual world. That's crazy. We even got notepad. Um, give Zach Levine the ball, please. That's what I'm telling. That's an no bet. Okay, I'm liking this, y'all. Got the overall stars. Let's see what LeBron is up to. He plays for the Waves, of course. And here's LeBron. He's got only two badges. It's only eight total. But he's got two badges, playmaker and bucket getter. I still don't know what these are. I'm guessing this is like sharpshooter badge. Um, hmm. What would what would paint rolling be? I don't know. We're gonna find somebody with every badge in this video. I'm, I'm, this is way too fun for me not to just sit here and play for three hours and chop down the video. All of that's gonna be a hundred for everybody because the season just started. But I wonder once we get a month into things, is my player relationship with my coach is still pretty good? Let's see a guy like Rudy Gobert, who's known to be a great defender, right? What is his badges? Defender and cleanup. And that's probably like the block badge. Let's say a guy like Lou Williams. I'm guessing he's going to have one of those spark plug badges if that exists or, or not. 
let's say Duncan Robinson, because y'all know in real life Duncan Robinson is a sharpshooter, and he's got the sharpshooter badge. Okay, this badge, a magician. A magician? I'm thinking like Rajon Rondo. I don't know if old Rondo would be a magician. Okay, no. But I know young Rondo probably would be. Let's say Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is a superior playmaker. He's got playmaker and defender. What is this magician badge? Who? Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm sure there's going to be a key somewhere around here that we can we can look at. And it even allows you to set the lineup by the quarter and the minute. So if I don't want Kobe White playing in the sixth minute of the first quarter, I could take that away and put in somebody from the bench. So where's my office? Let's go to my office and see how this looks. So... As a, as a general manager, I have zero winning seasons, anything like that. I can go back here and adjust this as the season goes on. Um, I want a very fast paced again. I do want us crashing a little bit. I do want our intensity to be up a little bit. Crash the glass, defense, zone. Okay, so that's cool. What do I even go to scout? Oh, scout draft. Here it is. Here's our draft. And it is auto-generated, guys, which is okay. But I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Bro, this screen right here reminds me of NCAA basketball 2000 whatever. I don't even remember the last year they had it. But, like, I could go by regions. I can go internationally. I can assign points. Like, hey, how about you go to Africa and, and go over there and do some scouting? Or we could go to an individual player and scout. Oh, man. This is definitely a more immersive, a more immersive draft. And I'm not just hyping it up. I mean, obviously, it would take a, a certain type of player to play this game, but I am that type of player. You know what I'm saying? I don't need gameplay. As you know, if you've been watching this channel, you know we very rarely do gameplay. So this is actually the type of stuff that I like. The Knights signed Kenneth Reed. Cam Reddish who's going to the D-League. Same thing with Isaac Okoro. Hello? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Those are some pretty solid players right there going to the G-League. Oh, my God. Landry Shaman down there, too. Man, this is actually really crazy, man. They even have magazines, y'all. Where you can have a rookie guy to like scouting the incoming rookies, free agency. I'm guessing it's gonna tell you the upcoming guys. Yeah, these are the upcoming free agents this offseason. You can sort it by highest overall. Kawhi is the biggest name on free agency this offseason. Bro, this is ridiculous. This is this is crazy. You know, I think I saw another magazine. Fantasy guide? Fantasy guide. It tells you how to draft your fictional fantasy team. Under the radar. Shea Gibbs Alexander, John Morant. Who has the attacker badge? That's what that lightning boat is, an attacker badge. Now you know what that make me want to do? I'm gonna go through every player and try to learn these badges. Oh, uh, Damian Lillard. Ball magician. So I'm guessing that has to do with the handle. Okay. Okay. I've been strolling through this for a while, trying to find this. This is the last badge. This like roller thing. And not a single person so far I've seen with it. Like look, look I'm spamming. Not a single that might be the most exclusive badge in this entire game. I haven't seen a single human with this thing legit i just went through all 50 of the top 50 players in this thing and not a single one of them had that badge i don't know what that means for the badge but now it makes me want to go through every single player in this game until we find somebody with that badge and you know what i might just do it y'all i am on the last team in the washington wizards is it the wizards i, I mean no it's not the wizards what is it i don't even know americans which makes sense it's the capital of america not a single person in the game has that badge so interesting stuff there let's go back to my chicago bulls and let's let's simulate the first game of the season um i just care about the bulls at the end of the day the lakers beat the clippers convincingly but where are my bulls here we go play slash watch this game what does that mean i don't know here we go human control 2d gameplay Kobe White, Zach Levine, Patrick. Okay, we got our starting lineup versus... They got LaMelo starting over um, Terry Rozier. That's fine. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Go to tip-off. Oh, it's like a SimCast Live type thing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We can change the pace. We can change the offense. I could say, let's go out there and look for threes. Let's hold for the last shot. Let's two-for-one opportunity. Okay, that's cool. That's that's cool. That's cool. Let's play. Oh, my God. That's extremely loud. Oh, my God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work the refs. The refs warn the coach. I'm going to confront them. They warn the... Okay, confront them again then. We got a warning. They threatened us. Let's get ejected. Let's get ejected. First game of the season. Is it possible? The refs... Oh, now I'm just getting ignored. I'm just threatening them, huh? 
So what's cool is as we simulate, I can kind of keep up with the rest of the league, right? Zach Levine's put up 52. Anthony Davis broke his wrist. Tobias Harris just hit 10,000 points. All of that is going on while we're simulating. And though you're not watching the league, you can still keep up with some of the greatest performances over there. All right, so we're just going to stop here for the sake of time and take a look around the league, man. I don't even know how many games we are into the season, but here are the season stats. Leader in points, James Harden, 35 points per game. Luka, 11 assists per game. Drummond, 14 rebounds per game. Two and a half blocks with Brook Lopez and Kawhi with three steals. Did we see trades, though? We're not a single trade. I don't even know how far we're into the season at this point. Let's take a look. So the Bulls are 18 and 22. So we're like kind of towards the halfway mark of the season. So that's cool. We kind of take a look at it here. Um, the Brooklyn Hoops, the Milwaukee Moose, um... The whole Southeast Division is kind of mid at the moment, but the Washington Americans on the five-game streak, y'all. You never really know. Dallas Ranger, um, Portland Pioneers, the Phoenix Beam are at the top of the Pacific di Division, and the Waves are at the at the bottom. The Waves at the bottom. Hello. Take a look at the milestones. Take a look at milestones here. Um. Melo is close to having 27,000 points. Chris Paul is close to having 10,000 assists. Same thing with LeBron. This is cool. I don't think we don't have this in 2K. It will be cool to track something like this. Um, just because it just adds another layer to the game. Being able to see where a player is good and bad to shoot the ball is just cool. Um, so far this season, Kobe White ain't having the best game it looks, uh, best season it looks like. Shooting 38% from the field. Um, and 30% from three, you see all the red zones here. That's not good. Red ain't good. At the end of the day, I think that this 100% is a, is a very fun game that I, I feel like a lot of people watching this video will enjoy if you decided to spend the $35. I, I think that you can have a lot of fun building and rebuilding teams here. I think what I'm going to do for this video is go straight to the off season and see what the off season is like. And then I think that's probably when we're going to wrap it. Okay, y'all. So I did stop the simulation because we actually had some good trades to go through, which is surprising i mean good you can you can actually judge for yourself but like interesting trades jared allen spencer and dinwiddie and torian prince for nikola yo nikola vucevic and a first round pick i don't i don't know does that trade make sense maybe in some world maxi dwight howard and four car cork moss for alec burks in the pick okay if that's if that's what philly wants to do victor ladipo for evan fournier and a second rounder sure why not um, there's another one. Isaiah Thomas got picked up and then got traded to the Waves. So he's back in, in LA. Jalen Smith, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson for Rudy Gay in the first. Tyrese Jabari for Larry Nance. Patty Mills for, jo I, I don't know. Somebody's actually, now I'm looking at it, a lot of these trades are bad. Um, and then the Pacers ended up getting, they ended up getting Evan Fournier, then a day later trading him for Ricky Rubio. And then Wiggins got traded straight up for DeMar DeRozan. And Dario got traded for Torian Prince. So trades did end up happening. I wanted to show you that before we got back on our simulation grind. Here we go. Are we finally here? Are we in the playoffs, y'all? Are we at the playoffs? Statistically, look, that's 80, That's 82 games. Okay, and then they ended on a 12-game win streak. Sheesh. They, they kicked it up 10-72. and 72. So Detroit will probably win the lottery. At least they have the highest odds. The Lakers... This Pacific Division was ridiculous, bro. I'm sorry, not the Lakers. The Waves ended up with a 49-33 and record, and that was probably not enough to make the playoffs. I mean, they're at the bottom of their division. All right, here we go. Playoff time. Show me playoffs. We're almost out of the second round. We're almost at the conference finals, y'all. Slowly but surely, we will get to the conference finals. Memphis is still in the game, y'all. That young Memphis team is scrappy. Sacramento is still in the game. Can they... The, the Sacramento Royals make it to the conference final to go against the Phoenix Beams, um, Philly Freedom, and then Milwaukee Moose. So that's our final four. The Moose are moving on to the finals. Who would they go against? The Beam or the Royal? The Beam or the Royal. We're going one day at a time on this one, baby. We're going one day at a time because I think it's set. The finals are set. The finals are set. Are they? Are they set? Hello? It is. Phoenix versus Milwaukee and the finals I'm going game by game on this one. Phoenix wins game one. Milwaukee comes back in game two. Game three is Milwaukee again. 2-1 lead Milwaukee. Uh-oh. Are the are the moose? Nope, 2-2. Two, two. We got a close series, y'all. We got a close series. 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two, Phoenix. Can Phoenix put it away? They force a game seven. 
This is intense, y'all. Game seven, Phoenix. Phoenix won a championship. Phoenix won a championship. Devin Booker played 44 minutes in the beam, 105-95 win over the moves. Booker scored 33, seven assists, four rebounds, one steal, one block. Chris Paul got a championship. Oh my God. Chris Paul got a championship, y'all. Can you believe it? The champion, Phoenix Beams. What? That was the absolutely loudest. When I say that was the loudest thing, I my heart can't take that. Okay, um, next pick. So we have Dallas at the bottom of the lottery. Which means that the co the Condors, Condor, Condors, aka Pelicans, move up, right? Isn't that what that means? I don't know. We have the Blast, the Metro, the Blues. These dudes in the lottery too? Oh, they made a trade with the Outlaws, I guess. No, they traded Mikael Bridges, didn't they? And Ricky, they, they traded Mikael Bridges, and I think they ended up with Ricky Rubio somehow. Maybe I'm tripping. So we end up with the ninth pick. Americans, the these dudes had a 0.5% chance of jumping up in the draft. And they did to number four. Wow, talk about New Orleans luck. That is what? Another year where they, that happens to them. Either the Twisters or the Mystic. Twisters get it and then... Brooklyn wins the lottery. So Kyrie, KD, and now whoever the first overall pick is. That's insane. Individual awards, MVP, Steph Curry. Wow. Defense player of the year, Kawhi. Terry Rozier, six man of the year. James Wiseman, rookie of the year. Brad Stevens wins coach of the year, winning 61 games. Steph Curry averaged 31, 7, and 6 with two steals. Kawhi ended up with three steals in the block. And Terry Rozier averaged 16 off the bench. <coughs> and Detroit Gear signed Jim Boylan to a three-year, $3 million per year for the job of first assistant coach. Oh, my God, Detroit. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Is is this Woj? Do we got Woj right next to me? All right. Let's start the draft. I mean, we could wait this whole five minutes to see, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go to next human pick. Seku got traded for Josh Okogie straight up. So that's the first trade of the draft. Here he is. View his details. B at shooting. He's a terrible passer. He averaged 21 in college at Butler. Um, I ain't really digging this. Scout report got him five stars though. All right, I'm just going to take Charlie. I'm taking Charlie from Butler. Uh, is that the right pick? I guess we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Did I just see Rudy Gobert get traded? Dante DiVincenzo gets... Mikael Bridges keeps getting traded, bro. Gallinari for Karis LeVert. I thought I saw Rudy Gobert for Russell Westbrook straight up. Rudy Gobert for Russell Westbrook straight up. Wow. Wow. All right. Actually, man, that's what we're going to call it. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a like, man. I really enjoyed this game. Um, I feel like this could be a game that I play offline by myself and just have a lot of fun, you know, being a part of a world, you know? If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Check the description for my other channels if you're interested in more than just gaming related stuff. We've been we've been doing IRLs and of course the everyday NBA thing on my NBA channel. Uh, I see y'all tomorrow. Peace.